In this video, I'll compare Google AdMob versus Google AdSense. We'll break down how each platform works, we'll take a look at who pays more, and we'll take a look at the pros and cons of both AdSense and AdMob. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding of which one is best for you. And with that in mind, let's get started. What is Google AdMob? A Google advertising network specifically designed for mobile apps, AdMob enables app creators to profit from their work. By integrating in-app adverts and promoting their apps, and it gives mobile app creators a whole way to make money. Google AdMob integrates easily with iOS and Android apps, enabling developers to increase their revenue by displaying high-quality in-app adverts. How does AdMob work? Users of your mobile app will see the advertisements thanks to AdMob. Interactive media adverts are made by an advertiser who wants to market their goods or services on the app and ultimately displayed on the app by the app developer. Perhaps the biggest mobile ad network on the market, Google AdMob has millions of advertisers. More advertisers mean greater demand, more targeted and high-quality advertisements, and greater money for app creators. The network provides app developers with hybrid revenue models that let them balance in-app advertising with in-app purchases to increase income. How to integrate AdMob. The procedure of adding AdMob to your mobile app is as follows. First, sign into your current AdMob account or create a new one if necessary. Then, create your individual AdMob ID by logging into the dashboard. Then, make sure your app is connected to Firebase by selecting the option in the application setting. Fourth, include the metadata. In the Android Manifest.xml file, you may integrate your AdMob application ID. And lastly, set up and implement the mobile ads SDK. The pros of AdMob. Network of international advertisers and developers gives the app developer total control over the kinds of advertisements users see in order to uphold the brand's reputation and guarantee authenticity. Integration with Google Analytics provide insightful data on user interaction, performance, and income in many ad types. The cons of AdMob. A significant $100 minimum payout threshold for new or small-scale developers, little pay is appropriate. What is Google AdSense? As an advertising network, AdSense enables publishers to maximize their profits by leasing out ad spaces to businesses looking for a place to display their ads. AdSense functions similarly to AdMob and is largely used to support website publishers, whether they're using desktop or mobile web-based platforms. Due to its flexibility to interact with several ad networks, Google's AdSense is regarded as one of the most widely respected advertising platforms among publishers. It is crucial to emphasize that AdSense functions as an ad network rather than an ad exchange. An ad exchange doesn't have an intermediary, but an ad network serves as a middleman between advertisers and publishers. You might use this resource contrasting Google AdSense and ad exchanges for a more thorough investigation of the differences between the two. How does Google AdSense work? Work. Through a simple three-step approach, publishers may maximize the potential of AdSense. First, insert the following ad code into the appropriate places on your website to display ads. Second, for ad space on your website, advertisers engage in a live auction. The right to display their ads on your website is won by the advertiser who made the highest offer. Third, Google handles invoicing and payment processes expertly, making sure you get your fair portion of the money. Additionally, to increase their revenue, publishers frequently use the Google AdSense arbitrage approach. This comprises using a sponsored advertisement to enhance web website traffic with the hope that this new audience would interact with the already existing advertisements on the page, therefore earning income. How to integrate Google AdSense. The following actions must be taken in order to integrate AdSense into your website. First, ensure Google policy adherence. It's crucial to confirm that your website conforms with the AdSense program guidelines before starting your AdSense account. Since advertisers pay for an ad placements on your website, the content needs to comply with Google's eligibility requirements. Apply for AdSense. After making sure your website qualifies, go to the Google AdSense page and create an account there. Third, configure ad display. Google gives you the choice of what kind of advertising to display on your website. The ad units choice may be easily changed by choosing it from the content drop-down menu on the dashboard's left side. Fourth, insert AdSense code. Click the Save and Get Code button after completing the ad settings. When you want advertising to show on your website, copy the Google-generated code and paste it there. Fifth, include privacy policy. Make sure your website complies with privacy and security regulations by adding or updating your privacy policy. Lastly, confirm and verify address. Google requires that your mailing address be verified in order to enable withdrawals from your AdSense account. Once you have earned the required $100, use the card that was mailed to your address's instructions to confirm the supplied PIN online. By following the these guidelines, you may easily include AdSense into your website and start taking advantage of its potential for producing income. The pros of AdSense. There are no specific guidelines for minimal traffic, provides an in-depth traffic statistics and make it simple to track of several adverts across various websites. Simple approval process for new advertising, you do not need to adjust the code, has a huge pile of marketers who provide pertinent and lucrative adverts. Along with the advertisements from Google AdSense, publishers can also run ads from other networks. The cons of AdSense. Limited ad options since AdSense 
does not provide some of the popular ad options like pop unders and push notifications. Beginners and new publishers may experience a lengthy waiting period before receiving their earnings because to the relatively large minimum payout threshold of $100. Inadequate or non-existent human customer assistance. Requirements. As long as your website or mobile app conforms with Google policy and offers distinctive and entertaining content, AdSense and AdMob do not have particularly rigorous criteria when it comes to traffic. AdMob requirements. The following is a list of the requirements for Google AdMob. Traffic requirements. There's no minimum set traffic requirement, so you may use AdMob for in-app ad displays right after integration. App requirements. Android Studio 3.2 or a more current version is required in order to effectively connect apps with AdMob. Specifications for the app build file. The build file for the app must meet the following requirements. Compile SDK version 28 or newer and a min SDK 19 or new version. Five, criteria for app ownership. The owner or person in charge of the app's development must be at least 18 years old. AdSense requirements. The following details are required for being approved for Google AdSense. Number one, traffic prerequisites. Although there is no set minimum traffic requirement, website producers must continually offer interesting material to ensure AdSense clearance and promote money growth. Material criteria. Your website should have unique material that is constantly updated and complies with the rules established by the AdSense program. Website requirements. A website must be at least six months old to be approved for Google AdSense. Qualifications for website owner. Applicants for approval and website owners submitting AdSense applications must be at least 18 years old. Registration process. AdMob registration process. Before being granted the ability to publish advertisements, any application that wishes to join AdMob is subject to a review of its app's readiness. A Google account and phone number are requirements in order to create your AdMob account. The following are the procedures for registering with AdMob. You may go to apps.admob.com, log in with your current credentials or establish a new Google account, create a Google Publisher account that is connected with AdMob by providing the required information such as your country or territory and time zone, select create an AdMob accounts, set your preferred methods of contact for moving on to the verification stage, give your phone number and choose whether you want to receive the six digit verification code through SMS or phone call as your chosen delivery mode, type in the six digit verification code that it was sent to you, give your name, the type of account you have and the payment address to complete the procedure. You can now participate in ad posting activities by following the, these steps to create a successful AdMob account. AdSense registration process. You may sign up for AdSense if you already have a website or blog and a Google account. Simply take the following actions. Activate the AdSense website. In the upper right corner of the page, select Get Started. Use your Google account to log in. Enter the website or blog URL where you wish advertising to appear. Choose if you want to get individualized assistance and performance recommendations. Choose the nation or territory where you want to receive your PIN by mail. Read the terms and conditions, then click Accept to move on to the Start Using AdSense button. Google AdMob Ad Optimization. Here are some helpful hints for making your adverts more effective. Choose the right ad format. AdMob offers a variety of ad types, each with their own special features. Select a format that perfectly completes the user experience of your application. Native. These advertisements effortlessly integrate with the look and feel of your app. Banner. A rectangular advertisement often shown at the top or bottom of an app screen. Interstitial. These advertisements show up at crucial turning moments without interfering with user involvement. Engaging in-app advertisements that give users bonuses or points are referred to be rewarding. Enable a variety of ad types. Consider enabling a range of ad kinds to increase income potential. Limiting the source of ads you run may reduce your income whilst expanding the types of ads you provide may draw in more advertisers and raise your average RPM, income per mile. Google AdSense Ad Optimization The following are some methods you may take to optimize the AdSense ads. By experimenting with various ad placements tactics, you may enhance the advertisement's viewability to attract more clicks and boost ad income. Try modifying the code to use responsive ad units instead of fixed sized ones. To change the settings to increase income, go to the Optimization tab of your AdSense account. Give Google permission to conduct tests on your ad format settings to see which adjustments in ad settings work better and aid in increasing income. AdMob Analytics Tools while maintaining a smooth app user experience, AdMob provides you with actionable analytics to track app performance and make intelligent choices regarding the best ad type. You may create special user experiences for various user categories and keep track of growth trends by easily integrating Google Analytics for Firebase. By connecting your app to Firebase, you may have access to insightful data, segment your audience based on a variety of indicators, and improve your app, which will eventually increase your income streams. AdSense Analytics Tools 
AdSense provides some basic features, however, it is unable to provide in-depth analytical skills. There is a way to improve your analytical compensation though. By integrating Google Analytics with AdSense, you can compare real-time data with AdSense performance, providing more informed evaluations. Investigating Google Ad Manager is a good alternative for publisher with more size. Access to complex analytics and insightful information is provided by this cutting-edge platform. Publishers may administer and supervise AdSense, Ad Exchange, and a variety of automated technologies throughout the Google network efficiently and concurrently with Google ad manager ad mob share of revenue Utilizing AdMob results in a revenue sharing ratio of 60-40. 60% of the money made by selling ad space goes to the app creators, while 40% goes to Google or AdMob services. AdSense share of revenue. AdSense money is distributed at a ratio of 68-32. Similar to AdMob, the produced revenue from digital advertising is dependent on variables including geographical data, specialty, and content quality. It's significant to notice that this revenue share percentage is constant across all demographics. The owner of the website is entitled to 51% of the total money earned in circumstances when AdSense is used for search functionality. AdMob's ad quality. AdMob displays high quality ads that are drawn from a large pool of advertisers, allowing developers to monetize their mobile apps with the help of creative app formats. AdSense's ad quality. In order to display relevant high quality advertising to website users, AdSense gives publishers the ability to customize adverts so that they blend in seamlessly with the design of their website. Publishers may access a huge network of advertisers committed to creating a premium adverts by using Google's extensive global reach and strict quality criteria. Who pays more, AdMob or AdSense? AdMob payments. The amount of money a developer makes with AdMob depends on a number of factors, including the selected revenue model and the level of user engagement the app achieves. Your AdMob profits are strongly impacted by your choice of in-app purchases or a mixed revenue strategy. Also, depending on the region of your app's users, the CPM pricing for AdMob might vary from 0.2 cents to $10 per 1,000 impressions, adding yet another variable to the income equation. Methods of payment for Google AdSense. The following payment methods are used by Google AdSense to compensate publishers. Check electronic fund transfer, EFT via single euro payments area, wire transfer directly to bank account, and Rapida. It's important to note that PayPal, which Google AdSense once accepted as payment, is no longer an option. AdSense payments. Even though Google AdSense might not be the top paying ad network, it does offer publishers a fair amount of revenue. RPM, revenue per mill, and CPM, cost per mill, rates for AdSense are influenced by things like geography, industry, and content quality. Publishers should expect an average RPM between $5 and $10 as a rough estimate. It should be noted that publishers earn 68% of the total income generated by adverts shown on their websites. The following payment channels are supported by AdSense. Check, electronic fund transfer, EFT via single euro payments area, and wire transferred directly to bank accounts. AdMob versus AdSense, the conclusion. AdSense stands out as the best option among ad networks for new publishers starting the process of monetizing their websites. It offers a simple way to make money from advertising through the simplest display of Google AdWords and its eligibility and compliance requirements are rather lenient. On the other hand, AdMob has earned a solid reputation as a flexible platform for mobile advertising that serves both new and seasoned app developers with ease. Publift distinguishes itself as a top suitable for AdSense by assisting publishers and developers in maximizing the potential of adverts on their mobile applications or websites. If your monthly ad revenue is more than $2,000, take advantage of the chance to increase it and better optimize your ad space. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.